everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Find some news, man. Find some news that Today, at least when I'm recording this video, we don't have an update to the testing list and there's no top stories, but we do have 15 monitors to talk about. Gonna be a lot. Let's jump right in. Since there's no top stories, let's jump over to modern news. The TNT Modding has released a statement saying that the modded equipment on his maps will not work with the carrots released with premium DLC. He is currently looking into this to find a solution, but for now, you can either not use the DLC with his maps and everything will work normal, or when you use the DLC, you will have to use the equipment for carrots that came with that. Additionally, he's also looking into making the modded equipment standalone so it can be used on any map, aka it's just a mono mod hub. I do know that Chris S. Riley S. have already done this too, and I think that's already submitted, which means, hey, even more modded equipment for us to use with premium. Hey, count me in. And hey, Bullet Bill's added custom canola crop textures to his Herefordshire map with all growth states customized and distance texture improved so that they blend seamlessly no matter how far away you are. The foliage coating itself has been altered to make the entire crop look far closer to real life and includes the tire track stubble, which really makes it look good. However, you will need crop destruction turned on for this to work, but well, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Additionally, he has added a new stone barn complex to the map with a complete interior and animated doors. And we also get to see an older brick barn that he made a while back, which he says is probably one of his favorites on the map. Next up, Casarius Modding shows off something new for all platforms, the Macdon 973 and 974. The first mod in the series will be the 974 Flex Draper from the 973, 30 and 36 foot versions after that. They still need to do the transport wheels and the CNH, aka the case of New Holland versions. We could also see a John Deere version as well, which I am all for. Casarius also addressed that if it will be a MacDon branded piece of equipment or not, and they do say yes, but only due to it appearing to be licensed from the New Holland video that we got to see two weeks ago. We're still going to have to wait and see because there's been no sign of this being true, at least in Farming Simulator 22, but eh, hey, like I said, we'll have to wait and see. Sir Vertex are back with us today to show off new stickers on their Maverick X3 off-road buggy, which they say has two versions. We have the RS and the RC, CVT transmissions, and a six-speed sequential gearbox options individually. Of course, we will see lots of customization options so you can make this truly your own. I know the players have been asking for something similar to this for a while, and it's great to see it finally happening, and we're so close. Moving along, Kasten 18 looks to be updating their Zader UR2 pack now that the premium DLC version is out. They're making lots of changes and additions to the model to improve it and just make it better overall. I think that means improving as well. I wrote both of those. Let's move on. They're extending the rear engine block. They're fixing the cabin partition behind the engine and adding a few wires to that. There's a new steering bar going from the column to the servo. They modified the model of the front fender flares, corrected the flat roof, corrected the mounting of air filters, repaired the plug for hydraulic connectors, and there's like three times more than just that. See the full change list? Check out Kasten18 via the link below. Ada Monning looks to be doing a little improvement on mods that he's already got out as well, the Gravity Wagon. We first saw this in August of last year, and it's currently got a capacity of 14,000 liters. However, he's curious if anyone is interested in an unreal capacity. I would say maybe 25,000 liters would make it a bit easier, but you could always take that mount and turn it into wild with 100,000 liters. What do you guys think? He's also working on a collaboration with WMF, which I'm actually not sure who that is, for an American fire station for all platforms. And of course, you can't have a fire station without some American gear. So they're also looking to be working on a Ford-inspired fire support vehicle Kinda looks done already, but it's not in game yet. Hopefully we'll have some more information on both of these soon. How about some new information from Gamer Designs? The second trailer from his Pits trailer is uploaded. However, it's not the one on the picture right now. He's also blurred out the name of the trailer in his latest update, so we have no idea what it is. Additionally, he's updated his flatbed pack. The only update in this includes an update to the center of mass, only on the short version, which was causing it to be off balance. He's also updating and uploading, re-uploading rather, the 669 Buncher and the Winch Skitter. And once all of that is done, work will resume on his other mods like the Giraffe, which we haven't talked about in a while. Rooster Mods is celebrating the release of the Farm All Anniversary Pack DLC that released a few weeks ago with a new set of running gear, the International Harvester 330. He says he has a few ideas of what could go on it, including a hay rack and maybe some other goodies. He's also looking for people that own a set of this running gear or maybe the electric 5026 running gear and asks, if you do, send him a message. Got that link below for you. Ordy Modding have a quick teaser for us of the Krona Easy Cut 3201 CV Mauer. The decals are completely done and they're getting closer to the model being ready to export and start the process of getting it in game. 
We first talked about this back at the beginning of November, and it's really cool to see how far it has progressed in less than a month. What about something new from Jay and Garcia? They've got a few different projects waiting to be finished, and today we get to see a set of combined equipment. He says that the model's not completely finished yet, only the base, but they're wanting to make different configurations with rollers, different discs for the Hero, and some other things. This is all the information that we have, and I'm not exactly sure what this is, but maybe it's so simple it's going right over my head. It just looks to be one piece of equipment that can do different things at a time. It's really neat. Next up, IJ Creative Design shows off a new mod that they are working on, the Bomford Superflow, which was also sold under the Massey Ferguson branding as the 24 Chisel Plow. They say this is a very iconic British cultivator, and I'm sure many of you guys will enjoy having this one on your farms. One mod that we haven't talked about since before I left for Germany last week is the Gondola Trailer from Kalaruga Modding. Quick update on it, it is done, and it is now with Giants for testing, and now it's just a waiting game. Somebody else we haven't talked about in a while, and one of my favorite modders on ModHub, Schultz Modding. They have officially sent off their Hulk Confinement mod for all platforms, ModHub Testing. This is a modern style pig feeding facility with the ability to remove all the fences inside and animated fans, and there's also a silo for the pig feed. Did I mention it holds 1,200 pigs? If you've been looking for a massive pig facility, uh, this is the one for you. Also, if you're interested in a first look on this mod, hey, let me know. Horde Boy Modding's back today to show off a new placeable pack. This is just the start of the pack, and it could include a few other things as well, but right now, there's going to be five different materials, including plywood, paper, and carton roll, and those are going to be available on any map as long as you've got this mod installed. It's just the beginning, and pretty cool things. And lastly today, Legacy Ag now has their 62x60 shed in beta testing. It is a simple shed with a porch perfect for storage of small and medium sized equipment. There's also two front and one rear doors for easy access and the ability to drive straight through, which always makes things easy. These also have three different colored parts to choose from, and he's planning for it to be on all platforms on ModHub. Can you imagine having this? I'll look so good. To see more, you can check out Legacy Ag, link below. And to see more Farms of News, we'll just start this video over. <laughs> Works every time. And just like every episode of Farms of News, links to everything we talked about today can be found in the description. And you can check out the entire video in the form of a news article on farmsofnews.com. Thanks to Yo's Modding. Remember, there are no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. And if it didn't talk about something you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on every Thing you need to know about going on in the world of farming simulator well guys that is it for today hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like get subscribed if you're new join the gohan fam make sure the notification bell is on us up that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel with that said hope you have a great day and we will see you later don't actually remember the last time I did two days in a row of Farm Sim News. I like this trend. This is good.